from home, or maybe you're just driving and you've decided to pull in the side of the road. Uh, welcome to the last evening of Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival, the premier uh, arts festival in Northern Ireland, headed up by Sean Kelly. <coughs> I'm Lindley Hamilton. Uh, this is Matt Curran on guitar. Uh, on bass, John Hodge. And on drums, <coughs> John Goodman. Uh, a band, believe it or not, made up of Ulster University students uh, from the music department up in McGee. I'm a very proud lecturer. I'm delighted to have them as part of this extremely important festival, uh, online, live streaming. You're very welcome. Uh, that was a tune called Anthem. Uh, we're going to do an Arturo Sandoval samba now called Samba de Amore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much indeed. That was Mo Hip of uh, my current album for the record, which was released last March. Just uh, actually, we toured it the week before lockdown. Very, very lucky it's the timing of it. Uh, that featured Adam Nussbaum and Mark Egan from New York on, on the record and Derek O'Connor on sax, Kane Boyne on piano. But I'm delighted to be playing the music of my last four records with these fabulous musicians. Again, Matt Curran on guitar, who formed the band with me uh, earlier in the year with the, the whole sort of adventure of the fact that we were kind of working together in the university and bringing some of these fabulous musicians along with us, John Hodge on bass and John Goodman from Derry on drums. And it's always special to be in the black box. In fact, this has been the scene of the Belfast launch of three of my last four records. It's one of those places where you kind of feel like home. And even though there's nobody in here at the moment, we feel that you're part of our show and performance at home and we want you to feel like you are part of it. Uh, that's whenever it really feels special and the music just doesn't, doesn't just belong to us, but it belongs to you. Uh, this is one of those uh, tracks that was recorded then on Making Other Arrangements, which was my album with uh, an orchestra and strings that was recorded in 2018. It's called Joan Cape Town Flower.
John Cape Town Flower. Okay, uh, you've probably guessed we haven't had a chance to play with each other except for virtually. In fact, until yesterday, we were able to make it happen. We had a space that was big enough for us to be two meters apart and the lads were wearing face marks. And, and this is really the first time we've actually had a chance to, to gig uh, together, ever, as a band. Um, and it's, I think the last time I played was August, so it's, it's, uh, it's quite a shock. Um, and it's also just a lovely treat. And even just the hang that musicians sometimes talk about where we tell jokes and we remember stories and we share all these different experiences and we laugh. And, and the magic of that is almost as special as actually coming together and having communion with the music and with, and with you at home. Uh, this is one from an album I recorded back in about 2011 uh, called Taylor Made. It was called Taylor Made because the piano player Johnny Taylor made such an impression. I think I was going to call it Wild Roses or some other thing. <laughs> but he completely annihilated me whenever he played. He was just so emotional as playing. Um, and we actually play a composition of his to close the show tonight as well. Um, anyway, this is one that was a, a song. Uh, in its original state by a great, great vocalist called Abby Lincoln and it's called Throw It Away.
Thank you very much. This, this next song is another one from uh, Taylor Made, uh, recorded in 2011 again. <clears throat> and I'd actually like to dedicate this one to a young lady who has helped me so much and the band so much. Um, she's been involved in uh, different projects of mine over the last three or four years. She's from Cork. Her name is Anya Delaney. Uh, and she does a lot of transcription of improvisations that I would do. And uh, uh, she's an arranger. In fact, she arranges for M Maria Schneider's uh, Orchestra in New York and things like that. Very special, very special lady. And uh, she took a project on whenever Sean offered us this concert to arrange and condense uh, all the music from my last four albums, including orchestral stuff, quintet stuff, uh, mostly piano led. And she rearranged it for drums, bass and guitar with obviously a bit of direction for myself. Absolutely uh, incredible uh, gift and talented young lady, Anya Delaney. Anyway, this is for her. It's called My Heart's Desire.
My heart's desire. Okay, obviously there's loads of people who who, uh, who obviously make this kind of thing happen in, in the background that you never see, like the manager, Dominic Riley, who looks after all my sort of work here and, and far away. And obviously we've had to cancel a lot of stuff in the last while, but we're planning for more and there's no point in standing still. You've got to just keep moving forward and keep believing. Uh, Mark Case, who does all of the album production, Callum uh, Hutchinson uh, does all of photography, photography work and different things in the projects. Maeve Ramsey, who's been really instrumental in the success of, of the record in the last two years. So it's always lovely that the people behind the scenes get a mention at times like this, especially for posterity whenever these videos survive into the future. Uh, this is a, a track written by two brothers, trumpet player and a pianist in Germany called uh, Julian and Roman Wasserfuhr. Um, <clears throat> wonderful players. They're on the ACT label. Uh, I came across them by accident, obviously having the BBC radio show, uh, you get CDs sent to and you occasionally put them on and occasionally they completely blow your mind. Uh, and I felt I just had to record this one again. Uh, the pleasure of this particular project is that I don't have to sell any of the recent albums. So we're going back again to Taylor Made 2011 and never really get a chance to play these. In fact, this is probably the first time I've played this uh, since the tour back then. So this is called Fade A Little. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much. This is more or less us to the end of the show. It's been a great honour for us to be here. I'd just like to thank Ulster University for all the opportunities we've had to develop these incredible musicians. And I'm very proud to say uh, the special quartet, Lindy Hamilton, Matt Curran Quartet. On drums, John Goodman. On bass, John Hodge. Uh, and of course, this really, really gifted musician who many of you <laughs> may well have uh, checked out in a former life as guitarist for, among others, uh, Nathan Carter and Daniel O'Donnell in a, in a massively successful country career as a session musician working with the RT Concert Orchestra and things like that. And he's a relatively new convert to jazz and uh, came into the Masters with me last year and, and nailed an enormous first in his Masters, which is very rare. Um, a really, really gifted musician, and we're very excited to be in a situation where I can introduce you to him, uh, and he will be uh, dedicated very much to jazz, I think, going forward, and therefore you'll get to know him very well. Once again, Matt Curran on guitar. Thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, and of course, I'm Lindley Hamilton. Thanks to Sean Kelly. Thanks to CQAF. They will be back later in the year with the main festival. This has been OTL, Out to Lunch. Uh, we have an amazing sound engineer that nobody ever sees in the black box. One is the lights are so bright on stage you can't see him anyway. Uh, but even whenever there's 200 people in here, um, you know, he's kind of hiding in a little box. But he's the best sound gen engineer in Belfast. He always has been. Uh, he just is absolutely amazing. So he's one of the team uh, as far as we're concerned. So thanks a million for tuning in. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope we've brought some light to your life this Friday night. This is our closing number, and it's a bit of an anthem again. It's, uh, it's from my most recent record, For the Record, and it's called Origin. Good night.
Who walk with vacant stars Whose hearts are really mine But whose minds live elsewhere I don't know enough people Who stay up at night Who talk themselves in circles Never say they're right 